It is a pleasure to be here today talking to you about the International Society of Hypertension Global Guidelines 2020. Um, my role on this is to talk to you about the differences between the current ISH guidelines and the ACC AHA guidelines that were last released in 2017. My name is Richard Wainford. I am an Associate Professor of Medicine at the Boston University School of Medicine. I'm in the Department of Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics, the Whitaker Cardiovascular Institute, and Sargent College. Overall, broadly speaking, there are more similarities than there are differences between the International Society of Hypertension 2020 guidelines and the ACC AHA guidelines. The multiple points of agreement include using a combination of approaches to measure blood pressure, combining office and out of office blood pressure, and where or if possible, the use of ambulatory blood pressure recording. Additionally, the treatment guidelines for both lifestyle and pharmacological approaches to treat hypertension are broadly similar across the ACC and the ISH guidelines. However, there are substantial or some differences between these guidelines. As you can see here illustrated on this slide, the major differences between these two guidelines relate to how blood pressure is classified. Primarily, the major differences are between the definition of what is constituted as a normal blood pressure and the different stages of hypertension. In the International Society of Hypertension Guidelines, we have the inclusion of a blood pressure category that is not present in the ACC AHA guidelines, the high normal blood pressure category. Additionally, we have different blood pressure threshold values for different stages of hypertension, and this corresponds into different treatment thresholds for hypertension. As shown here on this slide, treatment is initiated at lower blood pressure values in the ACC AHA guidelines versus the International Society of Hypertension Guidelines. Another major difference between the ISH and the ACC AHA guidelines is related to the use of the essential versus optimal approaches throughout the ISH guidelines. This has been introduced in the ISH guidelines to try and meet the goal of accounting for disparities in access to resources to treat hypertension globally, and ideally try and provide a proposal that is suitable for global use in multiple communities and resource settings for both clinicians, nurses, and healthcare providers. As shown on this slide with blood pressure values illustrated, the major differences between the two guidelines are shown here. As shown on the top left, the normal blood pressure in the International Society of Hypertension Guidelines is defined as a systolic blood pressure lower than 130 millimeters of mercury and a diastolic pressure below 85 millimeters of mercury. These values are higher than the normal values used in the AHA ACC guidelines shown in the lower table. Instead of using the term elevated that is included in the AHA ACC guidelines, the ISH guidelines use the term high normal blood pressure. And in the ISH guidelines, this is referred to as systolic blood pressure between 130 and 139 millimeters of mercury and or diastolic blood pressure of 85 to 89 millimeters of mercury. The major difference between the two guidelines is shown in the next line when we talk about hypertension. Grade one hypertension in the International Society of Hypertension Guidelines is defined as a systolic blood pressure between of 140 to 159 millimeters of mercury and or a diastolic blood pressure of 90 to 99 millimeters of mercury. This is different than the AHA guidelines and this has implications for the initiation of treatment in hypertensive patients. And finally, as you can see on this slide, the definition of stage or grade two hypertension differs between the ISH and the AHA guidelines, with higher blood pressure thresholds being used to define grade two hypertension in the International Society of Hypertension guidelines.